Well, good morning. This is Harold with WorldTVOnDemand.com. And I want to talk to you today about Erasing America. And you can see more and see videos at SaveAmerica1776.com. I hope you can see that. I'm going to see if I need to adjust my camera. Okay. Um, the government and big business is up here and this is us down here this is the people down here represents so what's happening with uh, erasing America I like to do different colors here so you, you can see better erasing America I don't know if any of you remember but back a long time ago there was a guy named Henry Ford started making cars. Well, the Dodge brothers left there and they started a Dodge company and they started making cars. So the United States was the car manufacturer and capital of the world, I guess you would say. So that's all well and good. So after World War II and we made friends and nice with everybody, uh, we decided that we were going to help some of these other countries and show them how to manufacture cars so they would be able to to manufacture cars for their country and whatever and and uh, and have cars so now what's going on now is they take the cars from America let me show you what they do to them just I want you to look at this picture now uh, also, you can take a break and pause anytime you want to in this video. If you would, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and a, and a like on the page, and I appreciate it on the video. And you can also, anytime, go to this website. And I'm going to put a link there to all the videos so you can see them. But as you scroll down the page, you'll see a ton of videos, not of me, but of other people, because I don't want it just to be about me and what I have to say. But there's tons of videos on here that shows you what's going on. But anyway, get back to the car thing. So they decide that we're going to have trade with other countries. So we slow down the manufacturing of cars in this country. And how we do that is the government makes a deal with China and Japan and later on other countries to import cars from, from over there. So now we're going to import cars. We're going to import cars. And when I'm referring to cars, I'm referring to trucks, vans, motorcycles, whatever. So we're going to import cars into America. But we're not going to charge them the fees for importing into America as to what we're going to charge Americans to import cars out of the United States and into wherever, whatever other country it might be, China or Japan or Germany or whatever. So right there, first thing, we have a disadvantage because our government is pushing for Americans to drive more foreign cars than American cars by giving them a break on importing cars into America and and penalizing our car manufacturers for exporting cars out of the country. So, so that's one piece of the pie. So now we have pollution and smog, which I agree we need to do something about that. But what we've done in California is the EPA Now we're talking to EPA. Let's just put EPA up here. But and them and the government have gotten together and decided, hey, we're gonna make electric cars to cut down on pollution. That's fantastic. Electric cars. I love electric cars. But the price is enormous, and 
let me show you this picture where your energy comes from for your electric car. You know, you take the you take the, the plug and you plug it into the car at your house and you you drive it for pennies on the dollar compared to what you would buy gas for. But let me show you what how you're getting your electricity. Now that you've seen that, which is better? Which is better? <laughs> which is better, a gasoline car or a coal burning car? Because now what you have, you went from gasoline, which we have regulations and designed the gasoline to burn, to burn clean. So now you're running your electric cars, electric cars, electric cars. So now your electric cars are running on coal because even though you're plugging it into an outlet and you're getting clean energy to charge your battery, it's not clean energy. It's coal. So now the EPA is is killing the gasoline car and making you buy cars that's made in other countries that's electric cars and that's a whole nother story because we can't do that very well in the United States because of the cost and labor laws and all that we can't do what they do over there but anyway so now you got an electric car and an electric car is running on coal I'm going to stop this video here, but there are going to be more videos, and I will show you more stuff about what's going on. And this is part of Erasing America, part one. This is Harold with World TV On Demand, and my other website is SaveAmerica1776.com. I appreciate it if you'd visit that website and look at some of the videos. Have a good day. Please give me a thumbs up and a like and subscribe to the video.